Did you know that in 1950, 90% of America was white? Now, white people make up about two-thirds of all races in the USA. By 2050, that number will be at less than half. So, that begs the question, which states are hanging onto the whiteness? That's what we'll find out in this video. Number 10. South Dakota. Our 10th stop on the white tour of America bring us to, unsurprisingly, South Dakota. Here in South Dakota, the white population is 80.8%. Actually, 10% of the population in South Dakota is Native American since there are some pretty big Native American reservations in the Mount Rushmore state. This is home to M.T. Rushmore, which has a giant monument featuring four white guys. If you're a white ice fisherman named Ned who drives his snowmobile to work every day, you likely live here in South Dakota. And even the whitest cities in the state have white names like Brandon. Number 9. Wyoming. Everyone knows that cowboys are mostly white. So it's no surprise that the cowboy state is our ninth whitest state, right? Cowboys are a total white thing. They love roping, riding and mutton busting. For all those who are not aware of mutton busting, it's when a kid tries to ride a sheep around for at least eight seconds. Here in Wyoming, 83.0% of the population is white. Only 1% is black, and about 2% is Native American here. That's especially true in Sheridan. Most people in Wyoming listen to country music, too, which is another white stereotype. Additionally, you can bet that there are a lot of people who go camping and hiking in Wyoming, since that's something that's mostly what white people do. Number 8. North Dakota we move on to another cold state, North Dakota, where things are definitely mostly white. Here 83.1% of the population is white, and not just Caucasian. I mean pale and pasty white. It's pretty cold and dark here for a majority of the year, meaning the white population here has to find all sorts of creative ways to remain occupied for long stretches of the year. That means long hours spent indoors watching Seinfeld reruns and playing gin rummy. Hockey is a totally white thing to play, and for many North Dakotans, hockey is a way of life. Did you know one in five kids plays hockey in North Dakota? It's true, the rest of North Dakota is made up of Native Americans at 5%, Latinos at 4%, and African Americans at 1%. A good example of a really white place in North Dakota, Valley City. Number 7. Kentucky. Here in the state of Kentucky, 83.6% of the population is white. Kentucky is home to horse breeders and bourbon makers, too, which are totally white things to do in your spare time. If you live in Kentucky, odds are you drive a pickup truck. We're talking about you, Cold Spring. Kentucky guy dot 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 so white people like basketball and chicken because that's also what Kentucky is well known for. Let us know in the comments below. Number 6. Iowa. Iowa has to be on this list. When you think about Iowa, you think about farming first and then wrestling. Both are very white things to do. After Texas and Missouri, Iowa is third in America for number of farms. Farmer John, Old MacDonald, and Ray from Field of Dreams are all famous white farmers from Iowa. What else is there to do in Iowa for fun? Cow tipping, building corn mazes, and going to the state fair are popular modes of entertainment. And all three are very white things to do in cities, such as Carroll and Manchester. Number 5. Montana. Montana only has 900,000 people, and it would be hard to find less minorities in one state if you tried, considering that 85.1% of the population here is white, that means that there are only around 18,000 African Americans, 
and 16,000 Latinos in the entire state, and the whitest place in the state. We kid you not, whitefish. Why is it that only white people like cold weather anyways? White people in Montana love to hunt. They love it so much that a ton of people have deer stands in their front yards in Montana. Montana people will actually call in sick to work on the opening day of hunting season. You can judge a white Montana man by the number of does he plucked last winter and by the size of his gun. Number 4. New Hampshire. We're going back up to the northeast once again, where we stop in the very white state of New Hampshire. 88.9% of people in New Hampshire are white. Like many other states in the New England area, farmers markets, Cerberus and granola bars are really popular in New Hampshire, and all are very much dominated by white people. Did you know that 97% of Subaru owners are white? Why is that? So interesting. Turns out that's basically how white places like Franklin and Clement are. There's so many white people in New Hampshire that non-white people who move here complain about the lack of diversity. If you speak Spanish, when you move to New Hampshire, you'll probably forget how to speak Spanish after a while. Number 3. West Virginia. West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Take me home, my country roads. To the whitest places, like Mountsville and New Martinsville. That song is from John Denver, a very white guy who is adored by white people. His song about West Virginia talks about how beautiful the mountain state is, but it doesn't talk about how overwhelmingly non-diverse the state is. A whopping 91.2% of people in West Virginia are white. Most of them are huge mascar fans, which is probably the most white sport in the entire world. Kids are practically raised with headsets on in West Virginia. Number 2. Vermont. Our next stop is in Vermont, which is 91.9% white. It may not be a stretch to say that depending on where in Vermont you live, it's possible that you also haven't seen a person of color in a couple months. Vermonters are very outdoorsy types. Camping, hiking and skiing are all very popular white things to do. People here are also very liberal and progressive. They support charities, care about the environment and are involved in their communities. Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts are still a big deal in these parts. So is yoga. And, just like their friends in New Hampshire, just about everyone drives a Subaru or some other four-wheel drive SUV type vehicle. If you're a person of color in New Hampshire, you're very lonely. The whitest places in Vermont are Rutland and Bar. Number 1. Maine. Welcome to Maine, the whitest state in America. Here, 92.0% of the population is some shade of white, and, for a majority of the year, the ground is covered in white too. Some of the whitest places in Maine include Brewer and Belfast which both clock in at over 96% white. Why is Maine so white? For the most part, an ethnic person who wants to come to Maine with a family of four or five people is not going to find a home they can afford, and there's almost no rental housing whatsoever here. According to research, the white folks in the Great North don't see racial diversity as a problem like people in the southern states do. It's as if the white people up here don't care that everyone is white. So Maine might just like being so white.